Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound, and welcome to my favourite Neon Polishes collaboration. My first choice is China Glaze Pool Party, and for each of my choices I'm going to be swatching it on its own, and then over a white undercoat. Here's the first coat and you can see that it goes on nice and smoothly, not too chalky, it's quite a nice formula for a neon. My second choice is this Unnamed Green by Sugar and Spice um, and this is a glow and UV light um, polish. I actually find that all of my true neons are glow under UV light or black light as I will show you at the end of this video. So here's the first coat on its own and also over a white base. Next we have this beautiful pink by Polish Me Royalty called Lollipop Chainsaw um, and it's a beautiful pink um, with a lovely silver shimmer in it. And again here you can see the first coat on its own and also over a white. Then we have Wicked Polish Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny, and this is from the 2018 Lysa Beach collection. It's the most opaque yellow that I have, um, but the formula is a little bit chalky on this one and more difficult to work with. It's great for nail art, um, but if I want to wear a neon yellow on the nail, I would probably choose one of my other polishes. So you can see just how opaque it is um, on this first coat, um, but also the formula doesn't self-level as well as the others and is a little bit streaky. And my final selection is probably a little bit controversial. Um, we had quite a lot of discussion over what makes a true neon polish um, versus a bright. Um, I think this one's a neon. We'll wait to see if you disagree with me in the comments below. Um, but this is from the same collection as the last polish. And this one is called Surfing USA. And it is a beautiful blue neon with a subtle pink shimmer in it formula on this one is really good, um, goes on nice and smoothly and self levels quite well. Here they all are now with two coats and top coated. The top one of each is the one that's on its own and the bottom one is the one over the white polish. So I hope you've enjoyed my choices for this collaboration. I don't have many neon polishes and these are the brightest ones that I do have. And as promised, here they are under the black light showing how well they glow. Um, so I don't know if this really is a true test of a neon, um, but it certainly seems to work for me. 
So don't forget to look in the description bar below for the videos by the other ladies taking part in this collaboration. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.